you find him? I mean, the chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it is a chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Chang Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, y yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broken. I got here. You hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dumby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh. It all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. Cool. Hey, that's quite the transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? Okay, let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chen. Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective, I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye-style monologues? No! I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime? Good luck, Chase. I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues.
Why am I phoning you? Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? Oh, you're meant to be a Chan's limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of Cubist sculptures. What does Cubist mean? <laughs> Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture, then I can take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. What do you think of this? Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. Well, see ya. <laughs> I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. Hey, you! Stop! I know you! You're that cop from years ago! Whoa! Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I, uh, just want to talk! Uh... Hey! Oh, sorry! Oh. Keep your eyes on the road, Chase. Oh. Oh, 
face! Oh man! Why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh! I don't like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. Sorry, it's an emergency. Oh. I'll come back and give you my insurance details later. You're the new boy? Yes, sir. Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> That's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you. And Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem. Because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower. And be polite. He's our only customer. What, what are you sitting around for? Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, where are you Mr. Going? Blackwell, sir, what don't happened? leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. 
I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individuals. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh. A thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent. Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chen. <laughs>